In this video, I'm going to show you how to make 50 social media posts in five minutes using ChatGPT and Canva. So we're going to create a list. This list could be anything that you want from facts. It could be quotes. It could be tips. In my case, I'm going to show you something that I like to do. Then we take that list. We're going to really quick copy it into a spreadsheet, export it to a CSV file. Then we're going to create a bulk upload in Canva to create 50 social media posts that you can then use to schedule out or to post every day. Super easy, very effective. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna share my screen and I will go ahead and pop myself back on here. Okay, perfect. Now, chat GPT, I'm gonna just assume that at this point, if you're watching these types of videos, you're probably dabbling with ChatGPT already are getting an idea for what it is. Basically a language model, a chat bot designed to answer our questions or to help us create things. So we're going to be creating content using ChatGPT in my marketing series. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick with the 3.5 model today. They did just roll out the 4.0 language model. So all of these are basically updates. You guys know how versions of things work, right? Every time Apple rolls out a new phone, it's got a new number. Same idea. Each time they roll out something, a new update, the system gets better and better and better. It can do more things, communicate better, has more updated data. That said, there's some hiccups, there's some kinks, there's some slowdowns. Not everybody can access 4.0. So just for the sake of today, we're going to stay with the default, which is 3.5. And worst case, if you cannot get in to ChatGPT, go over to Bing, sign up for Bing, the new Bing. It's free. It has ChatGPT built in. So there you go. Some different functionalities a little bit, but the language models are the same. Now, all we have to do is go down here and tell ChatGPT to create a list of anything that you want. One of my favorite ways that I think we can be helpful because I'm always asking myself, how do I make this content helpful is to create a list of things that people don't know about. Take your niche and think to yourself, what might my followers find interesting? They may not know about. So that's what we're going to do today. Now I am a digital marketing strategist and for the, I, have, I own multiple businesses in different niches. For this particular example, I do teach people how to rank on Google SEO. So maybe I'll do a list of 50 things you might not know about SEO. So I'm going to do create a list of 50 things you may, I'm going to put someone may not know about SEO. So here's 50 SEO stands for search engine optimization. Google's algorithm uses over 200 ranking factors. The title tag is one of the most important uh, on page SEO factors. So this is an overall good list. Now, if I wanted to go in and pick out a select section and say, oh, I really like how they're hitting on the, on the algorithm updates. Let me just change this list of 50 to only be about the algorithms. You can do that however you want. But let's just say this is good to go. I'm just going to copy this 50. And in most cases, they pretty much are. Then you're going to open a spreadsheet. In my particular case, I use Google Sheets. You can use Numbers. You can use Excel, whatever works for you. I'm going to paste in that list that we just copied. It's that easy. Up here, you're going to go to File. And you're going to click Download CSV. So I'm going to do that again. File, Download CSV. Click that button. Now it's going to automatically put it into whatever your default file is. In my case, I'm just going to leave this titled untitled spreadsheet and I'm going to drop it right into my documents and I'm going to click save. By the way, in the description of this video, I have a link that'll take you to the step by step of this with screenshots. If you're a learner who likes to have a, a PDF in front of you or slow down and see those steps, I've done that for you. You can find that below. So now we've, we've created our list. We've downloaded our spreadsheet. That whole thing only takes a couple minutes. Then we're going to go over to Canva and we're going to decide what we want to create. So you could create a story, something like LinkedIn stories, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, Pinterest stories. You could create a Facebook post, a LinkedIn post, a Twitter post, 
I'm going to stick with Instagram because what I know is this, the Instagram square graphic works across all the platforms. Is it ideal for Pinterest? No, a proper longer pin is probably more appropriate, but it does work. So if you're just trying to create something fast, you want to get on multiple channels. I like the Instagram post for that. Now you can scroll down. You can put in keywords if you want. You could say like quotes so that you can find templates that are already kind of designed to create quotes. And you can, if you like, choose one that has images in the background. You can leave all the images the same, or you can change each image, which would be what I would do probably. Now, if you're gonna go change each one, that's gonna take you out of the five minute version of creating this. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So now we have our placeholder image in there. The next step is to go down here to bulk create. If you don't see bulk create right there on the left-hand side, click on apps and you, you can do a quick little search, type in like bulk and you'll see bulk create. I do believe that this is a pro feature. I meant to look that up before. So if it is a pro feature, that means you, you need to have a paid account. In the description below, I've included a link where you can go take the Canva Pro trial for 30 days. I do have an affiliate relationship with Canva, which basically means I benefit if you do use the link and then end up staying on and making a purchase. No extra cost to you. So you can check that out and you definitely can check first. I'll put a little note. I'm going to, as soon as this video is over, I'm going to go look up. I believe that I saw it for pro version only, but I will verify and I'll, I'll write that in the description. Next step is upload the CSV file. So we're going to click upload CSV and we loaded it right here, untitled spreadsheet, and I'm going to click open. Now you can see it's right here on the left hand side. We're not going to do anything with that just yet. Our next step is do we need to customize anything on this original template that we're going to use for all 50. So in my case, I'm just going to change this to be my website, lauriballon.com. And here it says daily motivation. I could change that to marketing tips. Okay. So now on every, every image we create, those are going to stay the same. And only that middle section is going to change to whatever that item is on the list. So our next step after we've uploaded is to right click on that text and click connect data. Then we're going to go down here and click continue. And now you can see all 50 items on your list. Click generate 49 pages, 49 because of the first one is already there. Now, what you might have to do is if you didn't change the font on the first one or make that a little bit smaller and you're noticing that it's kind of running in, it's not, it's not really big enough. You might either have to go into each one and change it, or we could start over. We could fix the first one, get rid of everything else after it, and then just redo it. Because what happens is if you're, that one looks okay, but might need moved up a little bit. That one looks like it's a little big. So you can just change each one. It takes a few seconds on each to change it, or you can just go back in and do it again. Change the first one to kind of make that box just a little bit bigger. And then when you hit, click that button, they'll fit better. That's what I usually do. I, for some reason, I skipped that step today. So then the other thing is you're done now. You've created your 50, you're good to go. But if you wanted to spend a little more time here, which is something I would recommend to make your post look a little bit different is change the image in the background. So you could upload a picture of yourself so let me go down here and I will go to my uploads and I'll find some pictures I was just playing with for video thumbnails and I could put myself right there in the background. So you could purposely take 50 different photos. You could go over to your Instagram and grab them. You can go to your Facebook and grab them. If you have them here, you could, or you could do something like this and go over to elements and I'm going to put something in like computers because in my case, this is SEO. So I might want to have computer pictures in the background, but as you can see, it changes how that font stands out. So maybe you just go to different backgrounds 
and you could play around with different colors. That looks good. Oh, there's now it made it a video. That one's a video one. You can make them video also. Or you can pick your brand colors. Let's just say everything you do is blue. So we could make that one blue. And then we come over here and make that one blue. And then we come down here and make that one blue. So it's different enough. I really like this concept of doing these. On this particular template, these look really good, I think. So I would just come in here and this will take, that would take seconds. Once you know what you're doing, you, it'll just take a few seconds to take each one of these and just drag it and drop it in and make sure it's dark enough so that you don't have to go change. Oh, pretty like that one. Okay. Anything that happens to fit, but those backgrounds look really good. And that way you're staying within whatever your color palette is, but you're making them unique enough that it doesn't look like 50 of the exact same posts each day. So however you want to do that, that's it. That's all there is to it. The link below for the written descriptions on this. And I'm Lori Ballin, digital marketing expert. Thanks for following along today.